If you're only interested in the wheelhouse door, it starts at 119. While the shop was being built, it became evident that we needed to stay busy too, and one of the first projects Rob did was put a cover over the front door of the fifth wheel. We were fortunate that our friend who had helped build the shop in Oregon, who lives near us, decided to come over and help out, so that really made it easier for Rob. That made me t more time to go walk about with the goats and ivy, to work on YouTube videos, and to cook for the guys. So it worked out all around. We obviously didn't have good storage for a lot of the things that we brought with us, and probably some of it we didn't need to bring with us, but you know how that goes. So we had a lot of storage under trees and these trees are nice for trees with nice big boughs and so they covered things up pretty well for us. On Christmas Day I was able to load up the food and other necessaries out of the containers and move them up to the storage shed. That storage shed may not look like much to you but believe me it's been a lifesaver and I love it. Rob's going to explain how to make the perfect wellhouse door getting ready to make the door for our pump house. I want to make it so that it will close and seal tight so that it's in well insulated. You can see here it's at an angle about five inch to offset probably about seven degrees. If you make it at 90 you can't open the door being that thick so you make it a little bit of an angle so it'll open like the freezers in a butcher shop or We didn't have a place big enough for the truck to turn around that was bringing the tin for the shop, so Rob had to take the unfinished well building off of the trailer so he could go pick up the tin. At 70, I still love sledding, and Ivy's learned to ride on the sled with me, and the boys have fun chasing us down the hill. I hope I'm still sledding when I'm 90. Because we just had a small Kubota tractor in Oregon, I convinced Rob that if we were going to move to this property, we needed to have something bigger and enclosed so that we wouldn't be out in the cold as much, especially as we get older. Rob 
had thought he would start putting the lines from the well house to the fifth wheel um, right after they were done using the backhoe to, on the shop. But the night the guys were done, the backhoe broke down. I was excited the next morning when I saw him bringing the backhoe by the fifth wheel, but he was just using the hydraulics to get it into the shop and it wasn't fixed at all. Rob did some calling around and a mechanic actually came and looked at the backhoe and he suggested some things that Rob might try, so Rob kept looking for a broken wire and finally he found one down underneath. In the meantime, we were able to put the traveling goat barn, the boat, the two Suburbans, the Razor, the shop truck, and later the log splitter and the, the chipper and even the red Ford fit into the shop. Our walkabouts were becoming more difficult, so they were trying to keep a track open for us with the snow cats, but the snow just kept piling up. The backhoes in the shop broke down, so come back next time to find out what Rob does, if he's able to fix it, and how much it's going to cost us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Blessings to all.